Mill fever, also known as parturient paresis or hippocalcemia, is a metabolic disorder that can affect dairy cattle and buffalo, especially around the time of calving. It occurs due to a sudden drop in blood calcium levels, which can lead to various symptoms and complications. Here are some key points about milk fever in cattle and buffalo. 1. Causes Milk fever typically occurs within a few days before or after calving when the cow or buffalo's demand for calcium to produce milk exceeds their ability to mobilize calcium from their body stores or absorb it from their diet. 2. Symptoms Common symptoms include weakness, muscle tremors, difficulty standing, a stiff gait, and in severe cases, recumbency inability to rise. Affected animals may also have a drop in milk production. 3. Prevention Some farmers administer calcium supplements before or after calving to prevent or treat the condition. 4. If an animal develops milk fever, if an animal develops milk fever, it requires immediate treatment with intravenous calcium solutions administered by a veterinarian. This helps raise blood calcium levels and alleviate the symptoms. 5. Risk factors. Factors that increase the risk of milk fever include high milk production, older cows or buffaloes, and certain dietary imbalances, such as an excess of potassium or magnesium. Monitoring. Regular monitoring of calcium levels in the blood and the diet's calcium to phosphorus ratio can help in early detection and management of milk fever management. Proper management practices, including providing a well-balanced diet, avoiding high calcium feeds too close to calving, and weeding high calcium feeds too close to calving, and ensuring a comfortable and stress-free environment can help reduce the risk of milk fever. It's essential for dairy farmers to be aware of the risk factors and symptoms of milk fever and work with veterinarians to develop preventive in areas to develop preventive and treatment strategies to keep their cattle and buffalo healthy during the calving period.